Part 12, starting subsequent Jenkins builds. Now we mentioned when we were configuring the node, if we come back to Jenkins page under the node details, configuration, that we set an, an idle time. And this idle time when we hit 30 minutes of doing nothing on this node it will shut down this node. However if the node's running and a job needs to be executed on this node it won't start another node it will just reuse this node. So this leaves us with a couple of options. When you kick off a new build or a new job if the node has been shut down then Jenkins will automatically start and create a new EC2 instance. Now important point here is that that new instance will have a new IP and a new host name, so your application will be installed on a new server. Second option, if the node hasn't been shut down then, and the slave is still running, Jenkins will just need to deploy the install, build and the tests on that same node that's already running. And we can see that in Jenkins, so if we come back to our Jenkins homepage, at the moment the rocket chat server is idle if I was to leave this for another 30 minutes then it would terminate that instance and any subsequent builds I kick off would start on a new instance however if I click build and start build number two Jenkins already sees that there's a suitable node running and it will automatically build install and test on that particular node. 